Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys and I'm going to bring a 10 minute message to you from the Word of God right here in my study at home and I pray this message will be to your heart and your life. I believe God will bless it. I praise God. I'm depending on God for these few words that will help you live closer to God and you live a life that is uh, anointed of the Spirit of God and that He will help you through every difficulty you face. And this will be a good day for you because it's God's day. And He will bless you because He's a God that blesses. He's a God that loves. May you be filled with the love of God, the grace of Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit. I want to speak to you today on, some, on, on the subject of what I think is important is uh, what life is all about. What life is all about. Number one, it's all about First of all, how we got here. How we got here in this life anyway. The Bible teaches over in, uh, in uh, Genesis in the first chapter, verse 21, it says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our own likeness. Let us make man in our own image. He was talking to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three of them. And he was speaking to that which was within himself. Because in the beginning there was none but God. And he said, let us make man in our own image. And he meant by that the image that they would live and live forever. They would be able to choose as God chooses. They'd be able to do these things. Made in the likeness of God. Eternally, forever. And praise God. We're grateful for that. And over then we find that, that, that God made us. It is important that we consider God in our lives. We ought to consider the fact that He made us and therefore He has sovereign power in our lives to help us. And He's willing to help you, whatever you're facing today, to make your feet strong in the way of the Lord, to walk in the path of the right, and to know the way of the Lord and to seek the face of God, and to overcome all worry, and overcome all fear, and look to Him who loves you, cares for you. God loves you, dear friend. He loves you so much that He gave His only Son for you. He gave His life for you that you might have life in Him. And so He loves you. I love you. And when you love God, you love others. The Bible says over in the in John, the uh, Romans, the fourth chapter, uh, what is our response to His creation? He made us. Well, here's our response the Bible says that uh, there are, is none righteous. There is none righteous in this earth because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us. And therefore, we, are, we have a problem between God and man. A, a, a gulf that cannot be crossed because of our sin. But Jesus came and crossed that gulf for us. The Bible says over in John, in the third chapter of John, and verse 16, it says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For the Son came not into the world, and He sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. See, the world was already condemned. He didn't come to condemn us. He came to save us. We were in darkness. He didn't bring darkness. He came to bring the light. He didn't come to put us behind bars. We were already confined. But He came to open those iron doors and set us free. He came to save us. And that's wonderful, the love of God. And that's why part of the great message that we bring and have brought for many years out of the Word of God. And then we read that we're to respond. We're to respond to that love. We're to respond to it. And we do that by believing. By believing. He that believes on the Son of God is not condemned. But he that believes not is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the Son of God. First John. And so you need to believe in Jesus Christ to be saved from hell. And to know that you're on your way to heaven where the glory of God waits for you and where loved ones wait for you, and where angels are beckoning you, come home. And so we need to get on that road that leads to life in Christ. 
and that road is narrow, straight gate and narrow the way that leads to life. It's narrow because there's only one way. It's narrow because there's no other two or three ways, there's just one way and that makes it narrow. And that's because Jesus is the way. He that believeth on the Lord Jesus Christ has life, but he that believes not on the Lord Jesus does not have life. And so we need to know that religion doesn't save us. Church denominations do not save. Jesus Christ saves. And we need to know that. And then we need to get in the church that believes the Bible, preaches the Word, and loves the Lord. And so we see the importance of these things. It is so important to know that these things are true. And God has given to you and to me the ability, the joy, the privilege to preach and praise God. To praise God. Oh, this is so true. Over in the and the uh, Word of God, it teaches us that if we go to God, then we go to God, and we'll realize that the winds that drove us ship into the rocks is really the wind that drives us into the harbor of safety. And so you let God drive you into the harbor that He wants you to have. You let go, and you let God have His way in your soul. And then you'll find that it is well with your soul. Whatever life holds for you, it'll hold the peace of God in your life. You'll not understand everything. You'll not understand sometimes why things are going on and hurting you. But you will be at peace with God. Down deep in your heart. And you will find your way. And you'll walk on in it. And you'll not be afraid. And you'll quit complaining. And you'll start thanking God for everything for everything. Praise God. It will be well with your soul. It will be well. When peace like a river attendeth my way or when sorrow like sea billows roll whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul. Praise God. It is well with my soul. And I pray it will be well with you. What is life all about? It's all about the fact that we are created by God. We have sinned and done wrong, but God has measured His love. And between that chasm, He has placed a cross. And that cross from which Prince of Glory died for you and me. We can cross over that chasm into heaven by the grace of God. And I want you to do that because God loves you. Pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again. And I believe He's coming back. Come into my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. I want you to pray that prayer, dear friend. And know that God has written your name in heaven. And you're on your way. In the name above all names. And I praise God that I'll meet you there. Amen.